Hey, Blue. May I ask you something? What is it? You don't really hate my puns, do you? <sighs> no. I don't hate them. Just sometimes they get a little bit annoying after a while, you know? It's like... I don't know, just... Sometimes it becomes a bit much. That's all. I don't hate them, just... <sighs> the point is, your jokes are good. You know, I don't hate that you do them. Just... Sometimes I get a little bit flustered after a while, you know? <sighs> I get ya. I mean, sometimes I am a bit of a numbskull. I'll let that one slide because you're my brother. <laughs> Thanks. Anywho's... Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Swap Bros Plays Under Hero. I am your host, The Magnificent Sands, and I, his apathetic, pun-loving co-host, Stretch. So last episode, we took down El Salsarissimo, and man, what a battle it was! Under a volcano and then lava surfing. And then in this episode, we are going back to the portal to see Mr. Stitches. So let's see how well this all pans out. Oh, this is gonna be scary to deal with, isn't it? Alright, we're back in the portal chamber. Looks like everyone went to bed already. You should do the same, kid. Tomorrow we face Stitches head on. And I don't know about you, but I need my beauty sleep. Yeah. I think we all do. Though, I do kinda wanna go to all the different rooms. Because apparently, you know, those keys we've been collecting, they're for apartments in this place. Wait, you're still awake? How are you not sleepy? Seriously, like, you should be asleep by now. Alright, there's some upgrades available, so I'd say let's get health, let's get some hammer damage, some defense, and some slingshot upgrades. Alright, we can get another health upgrade later on, but I figured it'd be more important to upgrade all the stats than just a few of them, you know? It is a wise idea. Oh, we got an achievement for that, looking healthy. Alright, so one less stamina cost for the hammer, more HP for the shield, thank god, and we have a bigger pellet! We could've used that earlier! We really could've, but it is what it is, I suppose. Alright, might as well clock in, have ourselves a cup of coffee, because man, that last level was nuts. And let's keep moving, I wanna find those apartments first. Alright. We're in the main hall. Let's check the info thing. Or the map. The map should tell us where we need to go when it comes to those apartments. Alright, let's see. Alright, let's see. Heroes Road, Cafeteria... Oh, yeah, the elevator does lead to the apartments. Alright, so, hold on. Before we do this, we've got 2H, 1F, and 3C. So, let's do... C first. Or not. Alright, let's see. 2H, 1F. Let's go 1F first. I'm guessing it's based on... Oh, okay, yeah. Alright, let's open up 1F. What's in here? A treasure chest. Alright, another freaking cassette tape. Alright, we know that's not going anywhere. 2H, so second floor. Might as well see what it's all about. Uh, 2H. Cool, that's open. Uh, oh, you're actually in here. Oh, yes, thank you for finding the key. Take whatever it is in that chest as thanks. I'll find the ghost that locked me in here, even if it's the last thing I do. Well, at least we know how you got stuck in here. All right! Less stamina for the hammer to be used. Thank goodness. Halfway there. What's that mean? Alright, let's go to the third floor, because we got 3C to open as well. Alright, 3C it is. What's in here? A really creepy treasure chest. And inside is health! Well, that's certainly gonna be healthful. Did you just... Hey, I can make a few jokes here and there too, buckaroo. Oh, we got more of these things! Oh, wait, no, they're used. Never mind, thought we didn't have them, so whatever. Alright, well, either way, we upgraded, so let's head on up to... Wait, where is our room, anyway? Maybe the journal says something. Alright, let's have him defeat Mr. Sitches. We're going to rest in my apartment for a bit. I do feel kind of tired. Uh... Question, which apartment was his again? 
Alright, let's take a look, because honestly, I forgot. Let's see. Oh, quiet place, we could talk. My apartment is closed. I'm hoping it's still okay. My e items menu. Alright, it should be. Alright, in into your room. First floor, apartment A. I honestly forgot. Yeah, I did too, so don't feel too bad. Alright, apartment A. <laughs> Wanted hero, boss you. Alright. Sleep time! C good night, everyone. Alright, time to rest. I'm guessing plot twist is about to occur. Just calling it now. Eh, probably. Let's hope not. <sighs> but more than likely, that's what's gonna happen. Uh, there's a note on the door. Or under the door. Huh? Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. It's a letter! Give it here, let me read it. It's time to finish this. Meet me at the theater. Kid, this is signed by Stitches! It seems that we'll have our final battle sooner than we expected. Be careful, kid! Yeah, certainly seems that way. So let's, uh, let's do this. Alright, final boss time then. At least I think it's final boss time. We don't know for certain. This could just be a subversion of our expectations in an attempt to make us elongate the gameplay experience. There go making a plot twist! I feel like you kind of stretched that a bit, didn't ya? Eh, maybe. Although, I wouldn't be surprised if this game pulled a bait and switch on us. Alright, well let's see if that's the case. We're in the theater, and it's very empty. Okay, on to the theater stage itself. I, I don't see stitches, nor do I. There's a letter here. Hello? Anybody here? Show your face, you coward! What the? You're not stitches! Yeah, thanks for staying the obvious. There's a trap, in case you hadn't noticed. Okay, I thought the whole rival thing was cute before, but you're just a bit too late, pal. We're hours away from facing Stitches, and if you don't back off, it'll be game over you too! No one will stop me from taking what is rightfully mine. Only I will have the satisfaction of bringing Stitches down and saving the kingdom once and for all! Brace yourself, green boots! Whoa, look out, kid! Oh great, we gotta deal with this guy again? Alright, well let's see if he's learned any new moves. Alright. Whoa! Okay! World 4? Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting, isn't it? Alright. Oh! What happened? Are these... Trivality Stones? What is going on here? I told you! Subversion of expectation which leads to plot twist! I accidentally destroyed the stage. I was about to strike you down and I discovered this weird door. I have restlessly searched this whole castle many times in search of answers, and this is the first time I've seen this place. Wait, what the- It's the moth! What are you even doing? Who are you? I need to find a way to defeat Stitches. This might be my last hope. You don't have to do this alone, you know. Yeah, we all want the same thing, right? But you're his minions, just enemies to be defeated. Why would you help me? Look, I used to think that too, not so long ago. But traveling with this kid has changed how I view friends and foes. I'm still not so sure myself, but we could figure this out together. It's the moth again. It's still the same password, Mr. Timbolt. I can't believe you forgot. Yeah, well, my memory is not as good as yours, child. Let's make haste. We left that important thing around here somewhere. Yes, sirree. Wait a minute. So, should we go in, or...? That was... unexpected. That's how it usually goes with them. I'll scout ahead. See you later. So I'm guessing this gray kid's on our side now? I guess so. We should go in too. I have a strange feeling about all this. Subversion of expectation! I'm telling you! Wait. Being recorded on a camera. That means whoever is here is watching all this happen. The next door is also locked. Moth Freak must know something about all this. Well, let's talk to them. Oh dear. I accidentally did forget about this particular door's password. Man, you're useless. As if you would happen to know the password. Nah, we don't need to remember. Those creepy robots know the passwords, dummy. My word. You are correct, young one. 
Mass Child, could you go ask one of those robots if they know the password? Remember to be polite. Being polite got you a beatdown last time, remember? Don't worry, we know how to be polite. Aggressively polite. Alright, so we need to fight a robot to get the password. Whoa! Alright, this is gonna be interesting. Alright, um... Uh, what? I can't really... Okay. Uh, jumping... Okay, what? Oh! You may attack now. Oh, it's a, a memorization thing! Okay, I kind of get what they're doing here. This is different. Very much so. Okay, so I'm guessing we have to follow whatever's on the screen. Shield beats out the ham, the sword. Okay, so we need to use the shield, right? Okay, shield! And we may attack now, which I'm gonna use the hammer for. Oh, come on! We gotta do quick strikes? Okay, well, what the... How are you supposed to avoid that? Oh, just duck. Okay, so it's like a status effect type thing. Well, we ain't at the end of the game yet, folks. Seems like we got a few more surprises. Down Y, down Y. Okay, so one of these is the right answer, so I'm guessing down. Two, one, down. Alright. Okay, so we have to damage it at its pace. It won't let any other way go. Time to duck. No, I am curious. Can we jump over the hands? Or is it like a requirement that they grab us? No, it's a requirement. Oh boy, these guys are gonna be tedious. Why jump, why jump? Okay, one of these is gonna be right, and I'm guessing it's the Y, which is the slingshot, technically. I don't know if that the slingshot is the Y button. All right, that, whoa, that's a boatload of XP. Yeah, no flipping kidding. All right, uh, I am going to choose Attack points up. Yeah, because the harder we can hit for stitches, the better. Alright, let's see. Okay, I'm done. I always forgetting my passwords. I'm going to start recording them on my trusty Itormon. This door's password is Odakova. You better write that down in your journal, kid. Alright, Odakova. Okay, that's simple enough. Alright, oh, uh... Use your key- Oh, you actually have to use the keyboard here! Uh, okay, so O D A C O D A C O V A? Yep, okay, we remembered! Huh! Wasn't expecting that! I actually have to use the keyboard to do this! That was kind of a nice twist. Alright, well, let's not think about it too much now. Let's keep moving. Because if there's more passwords to be learned, there's more of those TVs we gotta deal with! Laser turrets! Because of course! Yep, just a typical day in the s the what bros world. Alright, what's down here that's so deadly? It's water. It's water. It's spikes. Spiky water. Nope. Can we not jump down the conveyor belt? I guess not. Alright, so up ahead is really the only way we can go. Ah, darn it, I want to explore a bit. I'm sure we'll find a way to explore later on. But now let's just keep going through these doors and figure out just what the heck this place is. So I'm guessing these stones are mass produced. And if that's the case, then what if this entire thing is a fabrication? Alright, well at least we got our merchant friend here. And I think we're good on magic anvils. Let's just get the coffee and... Whoa, okay, who the heck are you? You're not the usual person. Uh, 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 oh boy. Wait a minute. That's... Okay, so... I'm having a really weird moment here. Um, so you mean to tell me that everything that we've seen thus far has been mass-produced? So does that mean that everything that we've done is a lie? That's been a fabrication? Have we been pawns on a chessboard? Is this just a stage play? Whoa! Calm down! Calm down! We're gonna figure this out. Just breathe! <sighs> okay. Okay. 
I'm calm. Collected. This is locked. Uh, yeah, thanks for stating the obvious. Hey. Sorry, that's usually my job. But this should be some sort of opening mechanism. Indeed. We need to enter four passwords in order to unlock the door, if I remember correctly. There are more mean-looking robots around here. You could ask if they know something about the secret words. Four passwords? Destroying robots. Got it. I'll stay here while you find the passwords. You seem like a capable bunch. Right. We get to do the dirty job. We'll keep you company, smelly kid. I don't smell. I just... Actually, these clothes do kind of smell. Good luck babysitting. Hey! At least he got the short end of the stick somehow. All right, so there are four passwords we need to collect. All right, shouldn't be too hard, I don't think. It seems like they all... Whoa-oh. I'm starting to think we spoke too soon. Power malfunction detected. Backup generator online. Please stand by. Okay, so... Malfunction terminated. Main power restored. Please ignore loose power cables in the central room. They shall be fixed properly. Security polar droids deployed. Facility lockdown successful. Lockdown? Looks like we can't get out of here from where we came from. But it seems like something happened in the left room. Let's check it out. All right, let's take a look. Oh, oh, hi. There's a droid there. And it's, uh... Okay, so, uh... We can't talk to these things. There's no reasoning with them. All right, the pellet definitely does seem a little bit bigger, so that's a plus. Okay, we gotta hit this thing. Okay. Ow, whoa, that's a bright flash. So what happens if we don't hit the... Uh-oh. Okay, that makes sense. Ah! That flash. All right, hit the thing. Darn it, I missed. Okay, so depending on where the laser is, that determines if you'll get hit or not. Now, my question is, do the lasers do that thing that a lot of game lasers do where they deflect? Nope, they just go straight forward. I'm glad for once it's a straightforward laser thing. Alright, and at the very least we know how to dodge this part. Alright. Okay. Gotta hit this thing. Move it away from us. Oh boy. It's gonna hit us. Duck! Oh, that laser hits hard. Okay, definitely we'd be in our best interest to move that thing. Uh, definitely would also be in our best interest to avoid the... What? What is that? I don't like what just happened. Oh, he just straight up shoots a laser at us. Well, that's fair. All right, here comes another one. Just like the other one. And... Oh, that's hard to predict. Yeah, no kidding. Good thing we got potions. All right, shoot him! All right, here comes... And right, we can interrupt the charge by blasting it, so that's a good thing. All right, fire! All right, that's done. Instead, just tasked me with this project. I never imagined I would be able to work in such a comfortable facility. Rising and lowering the water levels to swim around the factory is extremely practical. I even managed to design it in such a way that water levels stay the same through every room. But I must keep in mind that in my Eidermons don't work underwater. If I forget one of my passwords and they are submerged, I'll be in big trouble. Well, at least we know for sure who's in charge of this factory. Like, it's so hard to figure out, kid. Come on, there's no need to be shocktastic. Y you got it! <sighs> that was kind of lame, wasn't it? A little bit. Alright, so. We need to raise the water level to go up, basically. And it seems that way for sure. Alright. That means the level up here is going up, though I do wonder... We still go through this door, but the water level raised. Because if that's the case, we can. And that leads us up here to get all these things. And then we can swim down to get everything else and not have to worry. Although we do have to worry about that turret still, which is kind of annoying. But, I mean, hey, we get to explore, right? Yep, that's true. All right, let's keep on moving down. See what this place has to offer. So... Does Stitches know about this? Oh, I'm sure he knows about this. In fact, this is probably his whole idea. More than likely. 
And thank goodness for a stamina upgrade. Definitely needed that right about now. Amen. Alright, let's keep moving. Because this place is dangerous. Like, really damn dangerous. Like, good lord. Alright, so how much XP till we get another level up? Because if they keep dropping 700s like that, I think we'll be good. Indeed. Still, we need to be careful of all this. That's true. Alright, well, let's keep floating up. And let's head into this door. See where it leads. Alright, we're in training room one. Is there any way up? Oh yeah, there's a cable. There's also coins we can collect, so that'll definitely help. If anything, we can visit the evil store again and get some more upgrades. Well, if we even have time to get to it after we're done with this place, huh? True. Alright, got another one of these bots. Oh, get over here. You pansy. Alright, shoot again. Alright, easy. Oh, come on, I ducked. Well, at least the laser's gonna avoid us, so that's a plus. Alright, and... Fire! At least the pellet's a little bigger to make this easier on us. Hit him! Alright. Come on! Turn it! Oh, it almost hit him. I am curious to see if the laser actually does hit. You know, because that's an interesting question that needs to be answered. Alright, duck! Alright, incoming! How is it that manages to hit even though we're ducking? I don't get it, and it's annoying me. Ah! That sucks. Does it damage us? I don't think so. I think it just stuns us and wastes our stamina. It's still annoying as sin. That it most certainly is. Oh god, we need to move that out of the way! Alright, that should be enough. Thank god it was. Honestly, I'm just using these potions to get our stamina back at this point, because that's the only thing that we need to keep us alive right now. Yeah, but unfortunately, we're out of potions now. If you're reading this, it means I am dead. Nah, just kidding. That'd be stupid. If someone is reading this, I'll just have to terminate you. Anyway, today I had the most amazing idea. When employees die, their energy becomes a puff of purple smoke that is then sent back here to regenerate a new minion. Sometimes after many regenerations, employees become unstable. Or organically speaking. But if I skip the organic matter, I can repurpose these guys as intangible blobs of energy, and then send them back to Greg's army as ghosts. Ugh, even I scare myself sometimes with my brilliant cost effective ideas. Yo, this is messed up. Like, this is seriously kind of screwed up that they're doing all this. For what reason, though? That's my big question. At this point, I don't know. But all I do know is, we fell in a spike pit. That was dumb. It was very dumb. But at least we know where to go. To another field of freaking laser beams. I feel like we're fighting laser team up in this bitch. Amen to that. Gotta be careful. The last thing we want is to die while dealing with lasers. Alright, carefully move through everything and just kind of... Swim up, swim up, swim up. Carefully swim through the field of beams. And let's get up and out of here. There's another one of those things. Alright. Now, this encounter is pretty simple, in my opinion. As long as we follow the thing. Alright. Y and jump. 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 Hammers jump. The other one is Y. Jump! Oh, what? Guess it was Y. Ugh, this is gonna be painful, isn't it? Alright, duck! You know, how does a TV screen flash in different colors damage you? That's my question. I don't know, but I'd rather not find out. Alright, boot for down, shield for slingshot. Alright, boot and shield, boot and shield. Down's the boot, slingshot is shield. Alright, shield! The attack now! And we're gonna rush this sucker. 
Come on. All right, good. We did some damage. Always a good thing. Now he's going to grab us. And now it is... What's it going to be? Duck time. Seriously, it's just a flashing screen. How does it hurt you? Do you really want to argue the logistics of this thing, or do you want to defeat it? Fair enough. All right, what's next? All right, down or shield? Down a shield. Down with the hammer, shield for the slingshot. If it's a hammer, press down. If it's a slingshot, press... Shield! All right, got it right. Oh, good. This gets confusing. Yeah, but it's the only way we're going to remember all this. As we avoid more rainbow screens. Yep. Alright. What's next? Alright. Sword, hammer, and then slingshot for slingshot. So if I see slingshot, just press slingshot. If I see the other thing, press hammer. And slingshot! Alright, and... That takes care of that! And yet another rank up! A double! And ironically, it came from the TV screen again. Alright, I think in this case, a health upgrade is a must. Because, yeah, we're running low on potions, right? Uh-huh. Alright, password. I lost count of how many times I've heard Mr. Stitches has lost his mind. It angers me that I can't prove them wrong about him. He has made it difficult choices that ultimately let, let us here. Difficult choices that he had to make to keep us all safe. So I want to write this down at least once. It helps that I can bring myself to believe it, too. Mr. Stitches is not crazy, but there is definitely something wrong with him. I am not talking about the immense burden that he has to carry. There's something else that compels him to act this way. I plan on recording my findings until I obtain definitive proof of my claims. I just want to help my friend. Secret password. D-N-I-M. That's some serious denial. You better jot these passwords down. Please tell me he is. Alright, he is. Good. D-N-I-M. Awesome. We got the first password. Now, I've been taken all the way back here. So does that mean that there's a switch that reverses the water? Because if not, we're seriously in trouble getting back down. Unless, of course, we just got to swim all the way back down. And that works, too. All right, let's open the door. All right, so... Whoa, the water has suddenly gone up. That it has. All right, let's go down. Alright, let's lower the water level down a bit, so that way we can keep going, huh? I think we need to save, because in all honesty, this is going to be a long one. Best if we keep this up. Very true. Alright, so down we go. And let's hit the save room. Right after a cup of coffee. Alright, and clock in. Okay, so... Secret Hidden Factory! What did I tell ya? Subversion of goddamn expectations! We get it! You were right! Still, we have one password out of four. Tune in next time as we hunt down the rest. But until then, thank you all so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment in the boxes below, letting us know your favorite moments. Also, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, make sure all notifications are turned on, so you know when we continue to be subverted of our expectations with this game. Also, share this video around. Your continued viewership and support is greatly appreciated. And, of course, a very special thanks to the Tier 2 and Tier 3 Patreon supporters. Those being... Sebastian Canino, Erin Lena, iShippard88, Jesse Barbo 6 Panda475, Nagi Oki, SilverFoxMC, Senboy, Keith123, Angelique De La Rouge, Mighty Chlorophyte, Anna Higgins, Jesse Alvarez, Horizon Dreamer, Happy Haunts 999 Grimmy Leon, Zodiac Demirs, Ruby the Wolf, Holly Wolf, and Katie Honey Jade. If you'd like to support the Patreon family, as well as get videos 24 hours in advance, along with exclusive Let's Plays, check the link in the description below to our Patreon. And with that said, this is Blueberry and Stretch, and we'll see you guys next time! See ya!